family and friends, we welcome you today to witness the marriage of Brian and Rhiannon. You have shared and contributed to their lives in the past, and today, by witnessing their marriage ceremony, they ask you all to continue to share in their future together. Marriage is a promise made between two hearts by two people that love and respect one another. Within the circle of love, marriage holds all, all of life's most important relationships. A husband and a wife are each other's lover, listener, critic, and best friend. The art of a good marriage. Happiness in marriage takes hard work, time, and dedication. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. It's never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry and at no time taking the other person for granted. It's having a mutual set of values and common goals. It's standing facing the world together now as one. It's forming a circle of love that gathers the family together. It's not looking for perfection in one another, but creating flexibility having patience, understanding, and always having a good sense of humor. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's establishing a relationship in which the independence is equal and dependence is mutual. So it's not necessarily marrying the right partner, it's being the right partner. So at this time, I would like to ask you, Brian, do you take Rhiannon to be your wife? Will you love, honor, and cherish her in good and bad times? And do you promise to always stay true to her as long as you both shall live? I do. Rhiannon, do you take Brian to be your husband? Will you love, honor, and cherish him in good and bad times? And do you promise to always stay true to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Rhiannon and Brian, may you pledge to each other to be loving friends and partners in marriage, to talk and listen to one another, to trust and appreciate each other, and to respect and cherish all of each other's differences. May you promise to share your hopes, thoughts, and dreams as you build your future together. And may your home be forever filled with peace, love, and happiness. The key to love is understanding. The ability to comprehend not only the spoken word, but those little unspoken gestures that mean so much. The key to love is forgiveness. To accept each other's faults and pardon mistakes, yet always remembering what you learn from them. The key to love is sharing. Facing your good fortune, as well as the bad, together now, side by side. The key to love is giving, without thought of any return, and by giving in, but never giving up. The key to love is respect. Realizing you are two separate people with different ideas, that you don't belong to each other, you belong with each other, a mutual bond. The key to love is inside us all. It takes time and patience to unlock all of its magical secrets. It's a continual learning process in which the results are all worth the effort. Therefore, to make this relationship successful, it will take more than just a little love. It will take trust to know in your hearts what is best for each other. It will take dedication to stay open and true to one another. It will take faith to move forward without knowing what the future holds. So always remember that love, it's not a destination, but a lifelong journey together. I, Brian, take you, Rhiannon, to be my wife. To have and to hold. From this day forward. I promise to be your partner for life. And will always take care of you. You're my one true love. And I will be your best friend forever. I, Rhiannon, take you, Brian, to be my husband. To have and to hold. From this day forward. I promise to be your partner for life 
and will always take care of you. You're my one true love, and I will be your best friend forever. As an expression that your hearts are now joined together in love, we will perform a traditional hand ceremony so you may feel the gift you are to each other. So continue holding hands and looking, looking at each other's eyes. These are the hands of your best friend, young and strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will work alongside yours as you build your future together. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through all your years, and even with the slightest touch, will comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will help you hold your family together. These are the hands that will give you support and encouragement to chase down your dreams. These are the hands that will hold you tight through any difficult time. These are the hands that will give you strength when you really, really need it. And lastly, these are the hands that even when wrinkled and aged will still be reaching for years and giving you the same unspoken tenderness with just a touch as they do today on your wedding day. Our blessing for you today is that both of you will use these hands to build a marriage where all of your dreams come true. May I have the rings, please? Rihanna and I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you today. So Brian, I offer you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. Let it always be a reminder of my vows to you today. The ring is a symbol of unity in which your two lives will now be joined in an unbroken circle in which wherever you go, you will always be able to return to one another. Brian and Rhiannon, may your home be a haven of peace and your relationship one of truth and understanding. Um, now I'd like the witnesses to please step forward to sign the certificate before we finish. It is with great confidence and deep affection we send you forth on life's journey together. May love and peace be with you. May you have courage and wisdom in your future years together. And may the happiness you share today be with you always. And now, for as much as you have made your vows in front of your family and your friends, and you have declared your love by the giving and receiving of rings, I personally wish you all the happiness that marriage can bring. I now pronounce you husband, and wife, Brian, you may kiss your beautiful bride. It's a family and friends, I invite you all to please rise. And I present to you for the first time Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, Mr. and Mrs. Moore. Who cares, baby? I think I want to marry you. Well, I know this little chapel on the boulevard, we can go. No one will know. Oh, come on, girl. Who cares if we're trash? Got a pocket full of cash, we can blow. Look at you. 
think I want to marry you Is it the look in your eyes Or is it this dancing juice Who cares baby I think I 